Hey guys, it's Sean from the blog, she's in her element.com. And today I am gonna to show you one of my Trader Joe must-haves and how I like to use it. So if you're following my sourdough starter, you will have known that I went to Trader Joe's yesterday and did a huge, 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 huge shopping trip and planned on showing it all to you guys. However, when I came home, I heard water and found my basement completely flooded. So it didn't happen. But I still wanna share with you guys some of my absolute all-time favorite Trader Joe staples that you have to have in your pantry, or at least try. I mean, if I like to keep them stocked up, believe me, um, but it, these just make it so easy. So, so, so easy, and they're so good. So tonight, I am gonna show you one of my absolute must-have staple items that I like to call a pantry item that I keep in my freezer for those nights when I need something to help me make a quick and easy meal. And that is Gorgonzola Gnocchi. This is amazing. Like seriously, if you have never tried um, Trader Joe's Gorgonzola Gnocchi, you really need to. The flavor is amazing. I'd love to make it when I have the time, but when you don't, you can't beat this. And tonight I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna use this Gorgonzola Gnocchi with some organic beef, and I am gonna make an absolutely delectable, flavorful meal from scratch almost. Now to go with this Trader Joe gnocchi, I am also going to use my Trader Joe organic beef, one pound of it. I like to buy my beef from Aldi. Um, I like their grass-fed beef. It's delicious. I like the price point of it, but when I don't have that or I don't feel like using my steer downstairs because I do still have part of my steer in the freezer down there, this is my favorite. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I am gonna ground this up in my cast iron pan. So I am browning my beef for the base of my meal tonight. And as you saw, I just added a little salt, a little pepper, and a little minced onion to my cast iron skillet. And I'm gonna let this cook up. Um, and when it's done, I am going to add some garlic and some Dijon mustard. All right, our ground beef is done. So to this, I am actually going to add some minced garlic. And okay, more is always better. And then I'm also going to add some Dijon mustard. And we're just going to mix this all up together. Let it cook for just a minute. Oh, it smells amazing. All right, now to this, I'm going to add a cup and a half of chicken broth. And I'm also going to add some heavy cream. Now I'm just gonna incorporate this together and I wanna scrape any of the bits that might be stuck to the bottom of my pan from grounding my beef. Um, you can also do this with sausage, ground pork, ground chicken. Um, personally, I just think beef is the best. Now, I am just going to add my Trader Joe's Gorgonzola Gnocchi. Get that all in there. Just going to give this a nice stir. And we're going to let this cook for about 10 minutes. The gnocchi is cooking up great in the sauce. So now I'm just going to add a little more salt and a little more pepper for some flavor. I want to add some fresh basil to this meal so I'm just going to go out to my herb garden which I am so blessed and grateful that I have 
and pick some of my amazing fresh basil that is actually doing so good in my little garden. Now I'm just gonna fold up the leaves and give them a little julienne, if you will, for garnish. Perfect. So our beef and our gnocchi have been cooking on the stove and they're ready. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shut off the heat and I'm gonna add another one of my Trader Joe favorites. And that is the organic baby spinach. I love it, I love the price point of it. It's delicious and this is gonna add a little bit of flavor and a little bit of greens to my dish. It'll add a little bit of color, make it kind of cute. So let's get this in there. We are almost ready to eat and my kitchen smells amazing and I am starving. So let's finish this. All right, I have turned off the heat. I'm gonna add some spinach and some Parmesan cheese. My spinach has wilted and it's time to plate this delectable delicacy from Trader Joe's up because I am so hungry. Get her gnocchi. beef and our spinach to that. I'm going to add a little Romano cheese, freshly grated on top. The more, the merrier. It's a party. Come join us. Perfect. And now some of that fresh basil from my garden. And there you have it. Dinner is served and there we have it a delicious amazing dinner compliments of trader joe and myself of course and i can just tell you this is so so good so delicious so creamy the gorgonzola the parmesan the spinach everything just works so good together in this dish <laughs> this is absolutely delicious i'm telling you it is a flavor explosion it is a party in your mouth and it is a simple meal to make super quick i didn't have to do much of anything oh my gosh really i cannot tell you how creamy it is how delicious the spinach tastes with the gnocchi and with the beef. I mean, look at that. Like, seriously, look at that cheese. Oh. Mm. <laughs> I'm in heaven. I literally am. This is just an absolutely flavorful dinner. The explosion in your mouth is mind boggling from these simple ingredients and it took no time at all. Everything happens in one pan. Well, with the exception of the chicken broth because I didn't have any already made, which I like to keep in my fridge as you know. So I had to use my better than bouillon. So I have two pans. Whoopity doo! I have an amazing dinner that my husband is gonna flip for like he always does, one of our favorites. Well, thanks for hanging out with me tonight at the homestead as I showed you just a couple, actually a few, of my absolute Trader Joe staples. I'm sorry, this is so good I have to eat it while I finish this. <clears throat> and this gorgonzola gnocchi, like really? <clears throat> almost as good as mine. <laughs> Again, thanks for stopping by the homestead tonight. If you're new to my channel, you might want to consider hitting that subscribe button. I make new videos every week and you never know what they're going to be on. Could be on scratch cooking, semi-scratch cooking, <laughs> DIY projects, or creating my handmade home one day at a time. 
As always, thanks for stopping by the homestead. And now, get out of here. I need to finish my dinner. <laughs> So good. That's it. We're done. Nothing more to say.